I second grade to end our math this week, we are going to practice story problems and look at everything you've learned in math this year from addition to fractions, shapes, all sorts of different story problems you are going to be answering today. So let's go ahead and get started. Second grade math review story problems. At the end of today, I want you to be able to say, this is a big one, I can use my knowledge of addition, subtraction, odd, even numbers, time, measurement, money, arrays, shapes, and fractions to solve one and two step story problems. Whew, we're going to work on a lot. So how do I solve story problems? There's some important tips to remember. I like to think of UPSC. Understand, plan, solve, check. First, to understand, you want to read the problem. What is the question asking you to solve? And circle or highlight the important information. Second grade, sometimes there's clue words in story problems. You should not only pay attention to those because sometimes they're not telling you the right clue. You want to ask, what is this problem really asking me to solve? And then circle or highlight the numbers or questions that are important. Next, to plan. You're going to choose a strategy to solve. You know a ton of strategies now as an almost third grader. You can pick the one that will work best for you. To solve, make sure you show your work and label your answer. Your teacher would like to see what you did to solve your problem, not just writing the answer now. And finally, check to see if your answer makes sense. Was the answer you got something that would make sense to answer the question? Now let's practice. Second grade, I did give you a practice sheet for, from the video that you could use to follow along this week, or you can grab a piece of notebook paper to practice as we go. Here's our first story problem. 123 birds were sitting in a tree. 28 more birds flew up to the tree. How many birds were there all together in the tree? Hmm, first I wanna understand, what is this question asking me? Well, I'm gonna highlight some important information. 123 birds were sitting in the tree. 28 more birds flew into the tree. I know I have to add, and I'm going to plan by using the vertical way to solve. I know three plus eight is 11. I took my 10 to the tens place and my one to the ones and I got 151, don't forget your label, birds. Now, does it make sense that 151 birds would be sitting in the tree now that there's 28 more? It does. Let's try our next one. If Mrs. Smith has 12 boys and eight girls in her class, does she have an even or odd number of students? How do you know? You can pause the video to work through this story problem and check back. Hmm, first I know that 12 boys plus eight girls, we need to figure out the total, which is 20. And I know that zero is an even number. So, it is an even number. Time. A safari tour was scheduled to start at five o'clock in the afternoon, but it started an hour and 15 minutes late. When did the tour start? Hmm, pause the video and see if you can figure it out. The tour was supposed to start at five o'clock, but it started an hour and 15 minutes late. So I need to figure out when did the tour actually start. I need to add one hour to five o'clock, which gets us to six o'clock. And then I'm going to add 15 more minutes. So 615 was when the tour started. Measurement. Tyler's pet snake was 26 inches long. Now it is 68 inches long. How much did the snake 
grow. Hmm. I highlighted my important information. 26 inches long and 68 inches long. I need to figure out how much the snake grew. So at 68 inches long now, it wouldn't make sense for it to be more than that. So I think I need to subtract 26 from 68 and I plan to use the vertical way. Eight minus six, hmm, six minus two, 42 inches. Second grade, do not forget to put your label on your story problems. Let's check out our next one. Money, Molly wants to buy a new kite. The kite costs 350. She has one dollar and eight quarters. Does she have enough to buy it? Hmm. Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. The kite costs 350. That's important information. She has one dollar and eight quarters. So I need to figure out if one dollar and eight quarters is enough to buy something that's 350. Four quarters are a dollar. Four quarters are a dollar. Four plus four, there's my eight quarters, and one dollar is a dollar. So that means she only has three dollars. She does not have enough money to buy the kite. You can see here that I wrote a sentence to answer my story problem. Sometimes a story problem needs more than just yes or no. Arrays. I baked four rows of blueberry muffins with three muffins in each row. How many blueberry muffins did I make? Go ahead and pause the video to solve on your own. I see that I have four rows of blueberry muffins with three muffins in each row. So I decided to draw a picture. I have four rows with three muffins in each row. And then I'm gonna count them all up. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. You also could have done 3 times 4 equals 12. I made 12 muffins. Shapes. I am a shape with 3 sides and 3 angles. What am I? Draw a picture. Go ahead and pause the video to figure this out three sides and three angles, and I need to figure out what shape am I. I am a triangle because I have three sides and three angles. And finally, fractions. Emily wanted to split the pizza into four equal parts to share with her three friends. What fraction of the pizza will each person get? Go ahead and pause the video to figure this out. I chose to look at the splitting the pizza into four equal parts and I wanted to draw a picture. So I drew my own pizza and I split it into four equal parts and I knew that four parts means that there's one fourth of the pizza for each friend. Second grade, as you work through your story problems this week, do not forget that it is important to follow these steps. Read the problem, ask yourself what is the question, highlight the important information, choose a strategy to solve, show your work, label your answer, and check to see if your answer makes sense. I can't wait to see what you do this week. Bye.